I have a prediction to make that this year's new Starbucks drink is gonna be this. And if it's not, it should be. Oh, this you crazy mother. Ready for the big reveal? I know many of you already have it figured out from the color. It's Thai iced tea. Yes, indeedy, you guessed it right. Now today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to make. Plus, towards the end, I have a little challenge for you because there is one small problem with this that I need help figuring out. Okay, let's get started. Our list of ingredients are Thai iced tea. I have a link in the description box below for the exact brand that I use. Liquid stevia or a sweetener of your choice half and half or a non-dairy creamer of your choice, and then of course, water just under the boil. I have a pitcher here that holds about four cups of water, and then I'm using the interior tea strainer uh, infuser from my bottom, and I just, it fits in there beautifully, so that's what I use. But traditionally, Thai iced tea is made with a bag, a, basically a cheesecloth or a muslin bag, and you can buy one of those for like three bucks online. I'll link to that in the description box below. Now, for four cups, I use either two heaping tablespoons or just three level tablespoons, and I just put it right in there, and then I pour my water that's just under the boil. Now, depending on the type of tea you make, you have different temperatures of water. I'm not particularly particular about that. I just do it under the boil, and it works good for me. So I'm just gonna pour my water in, and let it steep for three or four minutes. I usually set my timer for three minutes. While our tea is steeping, I want to tell you a little known fact, and that is that Thai tea does not have to be iced. It is traditionally served that way, however, it's really good warm. If it's raining or cold out, feel free to make it just the same, only don't put it over ice. It's delicious. Alrighty, so I've got my ice in the glass, and I'm just gonna pour it in, and as it melts it, because it does melt it a little bit, sometimes I just, I have some crushed ice ready to kind of top it off with. There we go, I'll just add a touch more. And then the beautiful part is the cream cascading down the ice, enjoy. Now stick around because we've got to talk about the challenge and my husband's favorite way to drink Thai iced tea. Support your immune system and your kids' immune system with 100% organic freeze-dried acerola cherry caps from AmazonThunder.com. There's no fillers, they taste great, you can chew them, and the acerola cherry has 30 times more vitamin C than an orange. You can't get better than that. Go to AmazonThunder.com and check out all of their fabulous supplements. All right, so we've established that we love Thai iced tea. What's the problem? The problem is the color. Unfortunately, the orange is not from some neat leaf like hibiscus and parts pink. It's from yellow food dye. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> and I've tried to make it myself. I've tried all different recipes online and I've even bought uh, organic Thai iced tea online that some other companies make and they're good, but they just, they don't taste like real Thai iced tea. So I know that someone out there, one of you is going to either take on the challenge and try and, and figure this out, figure out the exact recipe so that we can all make Thai iced tea without the dye, or maybe you already know and you can just share it in the comments below and we will all be die free forever, yay. Oh, and one more thing. We've gotta talk about how my husband makes Thai iced tea. It's completely non-dairy and very good. Here's how my husband makes it. It's really easy. It's just three parts of the Thai tea and then he adds two parts lemonade. So it's really Thai iced tea lemonade and it's very refreshing. Perfect for a summertime barbecue. You're gonna love it. To your health. And I wouldn't be surprised if Starbucks stole this one from me too. And I want my 5% commission fee to Starbucks. Steve. I almost stuck that up my nose. <laughs>